of the mining lead and sand. Oh shit, fell down. Is that... There must be one back around that way, because I can hear something. Oh, I think lead... Uh, what do you call it? Iron? I don't know if we need iron or not. I don't think we do. Where the fuck is this person? Can you just kindly just fuck off? Get off our walls. I'm hearing like this one person like slowly banging at the walls and it's going to take forever for her corpse to like disappear. Since so I'm getting them to make windows. Oh shit, it's almost night time. I wanted to, I think my bike's inside. I wanted to quickly zip over to a trader and see if he does the, the warning sound. And tried to get squished. What? Oh, oh, too squished? Well, well, that's a thing. <laughs> give me this, give me this, give me this. I gotta, I gotta go find out if the trader makes the noise. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, that was actually useful. Alright, hold on. Fuck off box. He is like... Out this way, I'm pretty sure. Come on, car. Get your fucking lid out. God, this thing is slow. I just gotta make it over to the trader and find out if he's gonna do the five minute warning and the nighttime warning or not. Or if that was just exclusive to the game that I was playing offline. Whoops. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course the votes happen. And of course my fucking bikes. Ah, uh, repair it. Okay. I don't need a horde right now. I do not require a horde. What I need is to find out. Okay, first things first, you. Repair that. Give me my fucking bike. Okay, so I should be close enough that I can hear him. Oh, Grim died. What'd you die from? Okay, basically if it's not a spider horde, I should be able to stay up here and get this shit. Wait, they tell you 10 minutes to night time that it's closed. Oh, you got a bear. All right. Okay, so he told me it was night time. Now, let's see if it makes the night time music because my other game did not. And I want to know. The biker horde. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, that made the night time noise. Okay. Alright, so it made the nighttime noise and he did his thing. Oops. So maybe it's on newer games. Why are you a shock type? Also, sending the main biker after me? Not the best. Can I get my motorbike out? Maybe. I don't know if I can get away from you, mate. Mate, why are you so fast? Oh yeah, nighttime speed. I forgot about that. No, do not turn fucking hell. I accident. I'm. S Are you fucking kidding me? I'm fucking driving with my mouse, so of course I wiped out. Oh, I need to get over the fence so that. I've oh shit! Did somebody just use pull? What the shit just happened? Alright, did somebody actually pull pull then? Or did I just. Do they just fucking magically catch up? Because I haven't had a chance to actually get away. Like, I haven't had a bike. Ironically, I get killed by biker horde when I have a bike. Alright. We well, learned a valuable lesson. Don't go outside. Um, and I was so close to leveling too. God, that's annoying. Alright, hold on. Let me put this down. If I can fit it. Okay, I need you to repair back up. You're almost fully repaired, and I gotta get some fuel for it. So I'll grab some fuel, get you filled up. I don't know if that's fully filled, but it's fully repaired, fully filled. Read my book, put that away. All right, that was unfortunate, but I did have to come home anyway. And now I have nothing wrong with me, so that's always brilliant. So now, spikes. Like I said, my only concern lies with the fact that um, I don't know why my offline game, like why my game that I was not playing on stream did not tell me, like he told me then 
that like they were closed right um and and like it still did the nighttime music but my other game did not and i'm mostly just concerned that i've gotten used to this and when i hop onto a new map it's just going to be gone and that's just going to be a new thing that we'll have to like deal with i hope not maybe you did listen no i was listening um i specifically went out of my way to listen on the uh offline one because i noticed it the first time it was after night and all the zombies were running and i'm like why are the zombies running it's not night time yet and then i saw the time and i'm like oh it's it's fucking night time why didn't the game make the noise plus you know where we had our last space where you had that really big like open plan fortress thing where the zombies could just walk in and walk out kind of thing um i was standing outside of that trader specifically i was just on the ground there was a walking horde going by and yeah i was right next to it and it didn't do the the final like letting you know i'm i'm closed for the night like one it said like we'll close in five minutes or whatever he normally does and uh then it just was night time um there was no nighttime warning there was no sound of night time and all of a sudden the zombies were running and i'm like oh shit <laughs> you know that's actually a problem so yeah i'm i'm keeping an eye out on it because like i listened to it purposely the next couple of times it went to night time like, I'll end up hopping into a new offline game again just to fucking test it out. Like, I'll make it, like, super fast night time or something like that. It's, like, rapid fire night. I like this thing, but it's hilarious how it works. The drawbridge. I do like the more sealed look. So, previously, we ended up lifting this for some reason. Um, and the original one went up the top. And I was going to make this, like, a plate to walk over if it needed that extra gap. But it doesn't seem to need that anymore. And I love it. It looks so much better but anyway i do need to start putting more spikes around which means i need to start taking out this inner layer unfortunately so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to go for a little lappy loo around this place and try to take out all of this shit on this inner wall um i'll keep this outer wall until the very end if i can and then i'll put a layer of spikes and shit through here um, and then, I don't know, what are we doing? So, hold up, where's my picture of this? Uh, where's my spike wall? Yeah, it was basically pretty smooth all the way to the top, so... Okay. So basically what it's going to be is, if I don't walk on one, is it's going to be there to two out to three out, so this will be two high and then there'll be one high. Nice. That's nice and clear cut. I could probably skittle along the top layer of this and then go for a second lap along the bottom row. Let's see how that goes. Some of this is going to be wood. A lot of it's going to be cobblestone because we had an issue. Might actually take out some of this stuff. We had an issue where the zombies were, well, they hit it like 150 block damage instead of just a standard block damage, right? So the zombies were kind of like hitting the boxes out of here faster than uh faster than we could get rid of them jesus christ why is there so many out here stay the fuck off the wall man oh man oh there's actually quite a few over here eh this sounds like there's a few down there i feel like that's way more barren than it was let's sit down i know i headshot you then but you didn't die there you are. I just want to get you killed. And I want to bring this guy in here too. I also spent some time playing around with the bow and arrow too. Um, that was fun. Playing with like drop off and stuff. I may actually end up playing with it a little bit more. Whoa, what are you still doing up? Uh, on the next map. Whoa, jeez. There was like a couple of times where this guy acted like he was dead. You actually kind of like take a hit and then you kind of semi-collapse, don't you? Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to still do sneak damage and shit. Of course I am. That one looked like a headshot, but you're not dead. No, you're not dead. I know that I cover the XP and stuff so you guys can't necessarily see what that is when I get it. 
But fucking hell. <laughs> I so want to have... Um, I still want to get a little bit more XP than this. Definitely also having just like the bare minimum of XP was pretty brutal. So the funniest part about all this was when I made this map, I actually almost made it that it was going to be only like 50% XP, you know? <laughs> it was going to be brutal. Like we were going to get like half the XP from things and things are going to be twice as hard to kill and they were going to do more damage so it was going to be basically like an absolute rip of a game realistically i'm going to have all these boxes i don't want to be crouching because it's slowing me down making it harder to jump but yeah i'm kind of glad in hindsight that i didn't end up doing like the 50 percent xp like nick was actually the one that convinced me not to do that because I was going to do it, I'm like, oh, I just want to, like, not level so quickly for once. Oh, man, did I get that fucking wish. I, I definitely got that. Like, right now, I would have to upgrade a whole bunch of stuff to be able to get, oh, man, even, like, enough XP to get out of this, like, death thing. Like, yeah, it's a lot. I also do miss getting to be able to... Oh yeah, that's one of the funnest things. I also miss being able to just like uh, go out and get like some resources and cook and stuff. I did find that running around on a new map, it was a little different than I remember. So, eh, there's more zombies around the front I think. So you know how like when you kind of start a game, eh, there's a zombie really close here. When you start a game, right? I feel a lot of us like veteran players and stuff, you kind of like don't particularly worry about water and other stuff. You just kind of like do what you got to do, go where you got to go and stuff. But the thing is like I found that once I had like some kind of place established, I couldn't get food or water that I needed when I needed it. And because I was, my person was dehydrated, it made me wonder if what you're supposed to do is like loot a little bit, like go into houses and like scavenge a bit to get like food and drink and stuff before you even like settle down somewhere. Because I, I was wondering, because like normally what happens is I don't care about like my first death in the game, right? Usually I'm so dehydrated, I'm injured, something's broken, something is infected. Like, I just don't care, right? And then I've... Wait, I see that snowball. I see the snowball. Um, so, yeah, I tend to, like... I tend to, like, let my person kind of starve out and get, be too thirsty and stuff with the first place because I figure by the time we're kind of, like, actually surviving and getting a base built, she's basically incapacitated, so I don't worry about it. But then I found that when I was in this base, not this specific base, the one I was playing offline, I found that I didn't even have, like, my person was incapacitated to a point where I couldn't go get other resources. I couldn't fight off the zombies in the area. And I'm like, god damn. I'm like, I get it, it's realistic and shit, but I'm like, I don't know. I kind of wouldn't mind being able to play in a way where I'm not dying so much. Like, cause I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've kind of died a few times. Like even poor Grimms like died a fair few times. And I don't even think that's necessarily shit being spawned on him. Like by comparison, I think that's really just the adjustment of the difficulty that we're at. I'm also pretty curious about how, you know how they're supposed to be locking us to like the green area to begin with. I find that really interesting because usually I won't actually build in the green area. I generally don't, but I'd give it a go. Like I don't, I don't necessarily like the idea of potentially forever more having to be in the green area, like to start this. Cause I think like most people that play seven days a fair bit, like having their own biomes and stuff like that. Like I used to like the desert biome before they made it so fucking orange i liked it when it was more like a dusty sandy color that was bearable you know you didn't get many zombies out there you got a lot of birds they're not much else you got a couple of like pissy coyotes that just wouldn't shut up but apart from that not much else um and then snow snow is actually pretty good if you can box yourself into a building pretty quick 
previously you just didn't really get this many snowstorms so fog and all that wasn't really too much of an issue if you're cold like you know how i've got the little like i'm cold symbol i just make a fire like oh it's time to cook food or make water like i really do hope that they do bring in a way for us to have like some kind of like attainable water uh beyond just the water filters i know what they're doing with that i've been listening to the things about it and that's fine i see where they want to go with that but i really would like to be able to have a way to potentially collect and still make water and stuff because i still think that realistically speaking you should be able to still go down to a stream if a stream exists and go and collect water if you have like a bucket or if you have like a container or something like that like and that is something that I wish that they'd stay with but um, I don't know I find it interesting what they plan to do with the water filters be interesting I don't know how quickly you be able to play the game but for anybody trying to do like you know how there are people out there that try absolutely just not to die playing this and like to be fair like if I could I'd love to have a playthrough where I just don't die um like play really like tentative and kind of like step back and like of course there's times where I've been like jump scared by you know shit just like randomly appearing beside me in a building or beside a tree and I'm like well shit like IRL that's death you know but I kind of find that like with the whole water situation and I do get it and you've really only got like three days before you die without water in real life anyway I kind of wish that like there was still a way to be able to collect and drink shitty water like the water I believe used to not make you used to not hurt you it used to just give you dysentery which meant that like you had like really bad diarrhea so like food and drink and stuff like that was not the best um like you get sluggish and stuff i agree with that i think if you're gonna have uh diarrhea or whatever in a game you should end up getting like some kind of like fatigue and stuff i'm here i need your photo on your windows all right hold on uh I've got like all these extra holes and stuff in here that i haven't like made properly i should also get some fucking water or something how am i this out of stamina i love this gate though this is hilarious can i just launch myself we oh god <laughs> i fucked up i might die hold up that's hilarious let's not do that again yeah, let's let's not do that little death door that is. Uh I don't know, Grim. You got diamonds and you got rectangles going here. This is this is I mean, I understand that it's like dark and stuff at the moment, but like I know that there's one that's like relatively pretty when it's lit up. I can't remember what the fuck it looks like. Hold on, let me get a box. Um Let's see. Decor and shit. Nah, I use that for, like, tiles and shit. Um. I don't know. Hold on. Where's my boxes? Take it back. I thought... I'm not sure, because I haven't played around much with the glass and shit. Like, I don't know if that's glass. Let's see. Windows. Oh, there's a whole fucking panel for glass as well. Shit. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I was pretty much just like... So I made it at the... Oh, you made it at the forge. Jeez. Yeah, no, I pretty much just figured like the plain like glass and shit that it was or like those square inner frame things, you know, like window looking box frames and stuff. Because, yeah, essentially like apart from the fact that there's a whole bunch of like broken things, it looks like a rundown factory at this point like to kind of like upgrade that i've got cement and shit i can fix up those out of bits i'll have to see if i've got paint do you have chrysanthemums hold on let me go see if i've got paint so i can fix up a couple of panels in the wall that we've like upgraded um not that one that's for sure 
I don't think I have paint. Do I have chrysanthemums at all? No, I got some. I could probably make some paint. Hold on. I need some water. Hold up. I think it's like chrysanthemums and water or some shit. Uh, water on the stove or... Yeah, there's really no difference. All right, do I have... I've got some water. I don't have a lot. I need to go check the things. I shouldn't have jumped off that. That's fine. Didn't break anything, apparently. Wah. Ugh, come on. There we go. At least it's an easy enough way to get through here. Let me go make some paint. Because, yeah, I'm not going to be able to, like, paint the entire base or any shit like that. The other thing, too, is I'll have to get rid of, like, the bottom of this ladder. Eventually, I'll have to make sure that when I get an XP point, I make sure to put it into parkour. Because I sure as fuck don't have parkour right now. I'm pretty certain. You just have four windows you want. Just give me a sec, Grim. I... Do I have parkour? Um... I've got one into parkour, so I need another one here. I've got, let's put one in there for now. When I get my next, oh, that's still not. What do I need this for? There's another fucking zombie out the front. I guess I've got to get two more levels before next week's blood moon. Holy fuck. Um, let's put this paint on to cook. Hold on. New recipes. Paint. Go ham. All right, I'm pretty sure eight paints, like, actually a lot realistically uh where's the fourth one? Oh, you're talking about that you know literally just this shit's fine because it's just i mean it doesn't have the frame and stuff but it's just the the window glass whatever where the fuck is that coming from somewhere out the front somebody's doing a thing i must have enough of a parkour to be able to like jump a bit how much is that making yeah, that makes a fair bit of paint. I should be able to fix up some of the shit that's, like, not right around the base with that. If I had more water... Oh, shit. Hold on. If I had a bit more water, that wouldn't be as much of a problem, but they'll do for now. How are we going for... Uh, forged iron. Keep making it. I think the other thing I'm gonna need is, like, clay, I think. Hold on. Uh, we've got a bit of clay and we've got, and we've still got shit ton of iron. I think I'll need more clay at some point. That's something that we're going to need to be able to keep making this shit. I'm going to need to grab more iron in a sec. Oh, yeah, I get that you're hungry. You're always fucking hungry. Where's some bacon and eggs for you? You know, I understand that, like, some people probably got, like, pretty strong opinions on this, but one thing I've always liked is the fact that, like, seven days doesn't have like any kind of like dietary shit so like, i am speaking from experience as somebody that has like issues with foods and stuff right there's a lot of stuff that i can't eat that makes me shit like real sick um and like bacon and eggs and stuff like that like you're limited to whatever you can make in a thing or you could potentially eat like raw food and stuff thanks grim um like where's the the cooking and stuff I understand there'll be lots of people out there that are trying to play through like a personal like style and stuff like that that's literal to them and stuff uh but not that this one but there's really not a lot of options unless you're having like the cooked corn the potatoes uh I'm talking like going vegetarian and stuff maybe the teas teas and like the yucca stuff but like a lot of it's like the meat and the bacon and eggs and shit like that like you could have probably the the breads and the pies i do like the fact that there's like veggie stew and stuff yeah the sandwich i don't know how safe those are because those are shamway grim they're technically not uh not fucking fish speaking of fucking shit sandwiches holy crap so over the weekend this was one thing that i do remember happened so over the weekend i was like oh you know what i'm gonna do we've got this lovely fresh bread and we've got some ingredients and stuff and i'd really like to have like i'd like to make a sandwich right Anywho, it was the fucking worst sandwich ever. It really just was. I don't like sandwiches, but for some reason, if I take ingredients and I put it on a sandwich, I just somehow make the most disastrous shit ever. 
Oh man, I'm also trying not to sneeze. There we go. All right, now my body's sorted. Um, yeah, so I was like, I made this sandwich. I had nothing special. I had like this, oh, uh, I don't know, this turkey fucking salami shit. Honestly, meat replacing meat is never really a good thing to begin with. But anyway, so it had this like turkey salami shit on it, right? And it had a nice cheese. We had fresh bread and what else we have? Um, I had one had mayo and one had corn relish on it. I remember what the fuck was on a sandwich. I'll tell you what, my brain can't even. Anywho, so I made the sandwich. You'd think that would be okay. Like, even somewhat passable. But it was so fucking inedible. Both of them were just so fucking inedible to me. I don't know what I did. I can't understand it. It's always going to pass over the microphone too. So that's happening. There you go, sweet. You gotta, you gotta walk a little bit further. There we go. She just wanted to like absolutely... F oh shit, hold on. I gotta get a chair back for her. There we go. Otherwise she's just going to fall straight off the, the desk. She's got this thing where she lays down with her back facing the... Um, like the room instead of like towards the desk and she'll fall asleep and she'll just fucking roll off backwards so i've kind of gotten into the habit of putting a chair up against the back so she can't physically roll off but yeah i i saw what she was about to do i'm like it's not gonna take long that one anywho so it seems to be that if i just need to eat the ingredients by themselves the sandwich is fine if I try to eat them as a sandwich format, the sandwich is shit. So that's what I did. The sandwich was shit. And then today I ended up, Jesus Christ, that scared me. Minecraft, welcome in. I ended up eating the sandwich like deconstructed today. I told Nick that I ate a deconstructed sandwich that looked a lot like like one of those like chartreuse board things. And he's like, he just like speculatingly like looked at me like, yeah, yeah, I'm not surprised. And yeah, it was good. It was fine. It was oh there you are how did you you piece of shit yeah it was fine until um until i was like suddenly full because it was all the same amount of food that would go into like two sandwiches two sandwiches apparently two sandwiches too much how you doing minecraft how you been uh yeah um, minus hat thing i gotta remember to use them in the next like when they release the 1.0 i think they're gonna have it more like typecasted but still anyway back to my money through here i've been pretty much like bogged down in the base because i'm trying to finish it before they release uh 1.0 in like a week or two's time i'm assuming it's only like in like a fortnight's time so i'm going absolutely ham building but it means a lot of people can't just like spawn whatever on me in here which is also for me, it's it's a fucking reprieve. You can still do things like, um, like you can still do debuffs and stuff like that, and you can still like enrage nearby enemies and stuff. I need to fix up my earring. Hold on. So I've got like, I've got like probably ten earrings, like in total, right? And uh, yeah, one set of them, if they hang down like, oh, if they hang down just right. It hurts in my headset, so I'm just going to take that off. Hold on. It's just being annoying. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It's not great, but it feels a bit better. I don't know. i got to wait for no melee now, but I can repair my shit, so that's fine. Um, so, yeah, what I was talking about is that when these come out, the light mod things, i got to remember that you can get that because I always see them in the traders and stuff, right? But I can't actually, like, I never actually buy them. I never take the time to buy them and it's the fastest way to get a headlight you know this situation going I always just forget because if you play a game for long enough at like a high enough like end of it you just kind of forget like I am looking forward to potentially not so much the experimental release but when they actually like go full release and shit like, I'm kind of looking forward to playing that for like a year or something like just the one fucking map for like a year or something i know people can kind of already do that like if i want to not roll forwards when shit updates and stuff i could do that but i mean like actually like settle into a base and play a long game because it's been a while since i did that the last one i did we had like 
I think I was like level 300 or, or whatever the fuck you can get up to in this game. And I had like excess points. So in like my perks and stuff, I had like, I had additional points. I had like 20 something extra points on top of like my capped level. And I think that's where it was, wasn't it? Because I'm like 45 here. I'll have to go back and have a look at what my most maximum level was because I played one game for like a year and a half and for like six months none of my server members were playing they were so fucking over it they were just waiting for like I think it was alpha 20 or about that alpha 20 alpha 21 whatever it was and uh, I was like nah I'm gonna keep playing because I enjoy seven days to die and I just wanted to keep playing it and yeah I ended up playing for like two years straight without a break um just every single fucking week mind you like it's it's a game where i know it's kind of like the repetitive premises but i don't kind of play it the same every time for instance this time i'm building as you guys might have noticed we have some spikes i'm still building some spikes and i still need to it's gonna be a while but if i can get this place fully built up at least outside that would be amazing like, I already know I'm not going to get inside finish. Like, I've got to, like, gut out inside more. And um, I think if I get outside finished and I've still got time or if I'm waiting on spikes to build, I'll go inside and I'll start gutting stuff. But I'm pretty much at the 